Hey guys, welcome back to Hyrule Warriors, where today we are starting the villain storyline. You thought it was over? No, even though I already said in the last episode there was an epilogue. Spooky. The Swords of Despair. Exposition time. What do you want to do? I want to talk about our feelings. It's just sometimes I feel like I'm so alone. All I have is... All I have is my video game, so that's why I play Smash too much, because here. Mewtwo is waifu. Here, here. here. Don't worry, don't worry. Mm. Touch my butt, Nate. Do you want to know why it feels that way? Nate, touch my butt. It's true. Thanks. You're such a good friend, Nate. That'll be $200. <laughs> that, that reminds me of, of a book that I'm reading, and like some guy like told this kid who eventually turns out he's like... Wait, hold on. Really oh, no, Girahim went away. I was going to show you something funny with Girahim. Next time he pops up on an image like that, I'll talk about it. Okay. But like he was like... Speak louder, Nate. The microphone can barely hear Okay, me. sorry. But like um, this guy... This um kid finds a magic user and later he finds out that he's like basically the son of the archmage but he's an illegitimate son so that's a problem but um teen pregnancy uh, not quite. abstinence is always the solution no actually his mother was a caterpillar his father no. was a worm and he's okay with that now veggie no, tales reference veggie tales reference <laughs> looking oh and now gary he's up there doesn't it look like his white lips could actually be like a mustache when they're closed they could though. <laughs> he actually has no mouth. He just moves his mustache <clears throat> to speak. Ha ha. Mustache skills. Also, but, like, just glossing over the fact that suddenly the villains are here now. That suddenly they're here. Yeah. But um, where was I going before? Epic combo. Wombo combo. What was I talking about before you started? Look at the da the epic. dance of Ganon. That was not the dance of Ganon. This is the Ganon doing dance the Harlem of the, Shake. The dance of the cucumber? Yes. I'll, no, but, like, so, that was the problem. And, like, he finds this mage that's, like, dying. Because he's, like, gone insane. But you'd have to read the book, but, um, to understand it. But he, he walks up into the club like, yo, what up, I got a big cock. No. That is from Thrift Shop, by the way. I, yeah, I, I know. I'm like, I'm like, wait a minute. Falcon Punch! <laughs> but he said, but, and the mage comes up to him, like, because he released him because, like, that's a whole other thing. But it's called oh, the Black, it's called the, world. it's called the Black, it's called the Black Prison, by the way, if you guys want to see it, it's a good book. But the uh, writer is very blunt in everything, let's put it that way. Um, so, so the mage asks him, have you ever feel like, have you feel ever wondered, have you ever feel like? Have you ever had a dream? Michael, play the Have You Ever Had a Dream clip with that weird kid that looks strangely like Andrew's younger brother. Have you ever had a dream that that you um you had you 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 could you do you you want you you could do so you you do you could you you want you want him to do you so much you could do anything. But like he says, have you ever wondered why you were? doomed to like live in this small little town and you know the kid remains silent but he like thinks to himself yeah I kind of have to. and he said have you ever thought maybe you could be something better something bigger that you that you have the potential to be be glad Nate that you have the potential to do pretty much anything that you could be all powerful someday and the kid you know like kind of nods and and the guy says you want to know why you feel that way? And the kid, like, you know, is, like, if metaphorically on the edge of his seat. He's, like, standing, He actually. literally just apparates a chair. Yes, and he sits on the edge of it. But, like, and he says, and, and he says, what? And the, and the guy says, because you're an arrogant son of a boop. A son of and a I'm, boop. <laughs> How dare he call him a son of a boop. Not the son of a verb. Or also, I guess it could be a noun. Because you're an arrogant son of a female dog in heat. Are you be is that better? <laughs> Why the in heat? Because that's the difference. It's just a female dog unless it's in heat, then it's something else. Then it's a female dog. In heat. Also, why did it when did Ganondorf get lightning powers? Go start in Force Unleashed! <laughs> Force Unleashed just wants to be like our main playthrough. It's like 
Hey guys, you remember me? I still exist. Yes, we know you exist. <laughs> well, of course, Micah knows it exists. Because that's I mean, the funniest game ever made unintentionally. And then you put in that thing when the shot, when the. The freaking. The, what's it called? The, the Harlem Shake dude. Or yeah, Harlem the Shake. Harlem Shake dude, yep. The Purge Trooper. Oh, yeah, the one who um, eats a bunch of food and then um, makes He's himself. He's anorexic, cute. yeah. That's bulimic, you insensitive racist. That's totally a race. That's not race. Okay. Made up racist coming this fall to ABC Not Family because I don't. ABC even... Not a family. They actually hate each other. <laughs> ABC, we are not related. <laughs> <laughs> that was a lot of kills for somehow. For somehow. Also, I love how this move is like the stupidest move ever. It's like suddenly frozen in time for somehow. And and suddenly moving my sword's extremely slow. Have you noticed how fa how fabulous Ganondorf? I is? was just about to say that actually. <laughs> like when they revealed Ganondorf as a playable character during the Hyrule Warriors Direct, all of the comments on the Twitch chat were, "Look at that hair, though. <laughs> that beautiful, beautiful hair." <laughs> like, for 1080p was leading up to this hairstyle, guys. <laughs> the true purpose for 1080p to animate Ganondorf's fabulous hair. What's that key thing you keep doing where you keep like jumping backwards? That's when I take damage. <laughs> Ganondorf's like, this damage is too good for me. I am too fabulous to deal with it. <sighs> fabulous, fabulous backflip. He is the original King Fabulous. <laughs> Which, if you don't know, King Fabulous is my main in Super Smash Brothers uh, for Wii U. King Fabulous! King Fabulous is literally just Pink King Deity. But he's fabulous because he's Pank. Captain Fabulous! Yes, that's that's one of my secondaries. That's that's Captain Falcon fabulized. Yeah. What if Captain Fabulous had like an advice TV show? Oh my! Because you have to be fabulous. <laughs> you gotta go fast. You gotta go fast, the fast, the faster. You go fast, you gotta go fabulous. Oh, you go it. faster, still going back. We go. Unnecessary overkill is unnecessary. Look at me. Gosh darn it, acting like Cinemason. <laughs> I started acting like every anime ever. <laughs> what do I do? Have you seen the abridged version of um, Attack on Titan? I bet I have, and I just don't remember. You had better not leave the back door. It was like leaving the back door open. Like it was like downgrading it a lot. It's it was back door, but they meant like the back door of like a fortress, like and it led in a Titan, I think. Jo don't quote me on this, guys. Uh, Josh would know better, but he's like. Don't leave the back door open, or you will be polite. Or you all know what happened last time. He was yelled at and asked, and politely asked to leave. And we all know how awkward that was. Reminds me of a uh, uh, Monty Python of the Spanish Inquisition. Bring in the <laughs> comfy chair. chair. Oh no! I saw like um. The Spanish Inquisition, another uh, snippet from the Spanish Inquisition, and they were in a court. By the way, funniest thing ever. He's like, okay, they were trying a judge for like, um, it, it was like against the Rude Behavior Act. Like he had broken the Rude Behavior Act in court. And he's like, bring in Exhibit Q. Ooh. Did I say Q? I meant A. Bring in Exhibit A. So, Monty Python is awesome. But. And King Dongo for somehow, by the way. Uh, I'm not sure why he's here, but they're like, you reuse bosses. You can reuse them. Fire breathing. Okay. But he, um, but he comes in there and they read off his problem, like, of how he broke it. And I said, after this woman who was, um, tried of. It was tried of something, and like when they pull off the curtain, it's this woman in like very, like in kind of a small swimsuit. And she's like making very sexual references, kind of, but. They're called innuendos. Innuendos, please. thank you, thank you. And she's, you know, she's looking at every guy, you know, being, you know, very lewd, in a very lewd manner. Being very lubed, ready for action. Kind of. This session has been nothing but me making sexual reference. Yeah, I know. I love it. <laughs> but, and, they say, uh, George, uh, George, oh boy. George of the jungle. He just swings in out of nowhere. <laughs> Judge such and such, um, removed, um, uh, threw out the K 
case after after she was presented throughout the case like he said she he threw out the case said said that um uh, said that she had a very nice body pulled the, pulled his uh judge's robe up over his um over his uh over his head and proceeded to make low moans well i guess what it, what they say if what they say is true uh, if they if what they say about justice is true, which is justice is blind, it will miss this display, I guess. Uh huh. Well, and like they come in here, and like the judge is going, the judge like part of his backstory is like he's moving to South Africa because like you because get five convictions every day and two executions of those or something like that, and he's like it's so much better paid, and he's like so he's moving there, and he said, oh well, one last hurrah. You ought to be burned at the stake. <laughs> and I think the judge takes her to like, I don't know, a friggin' uh, Ponderosa. Well, no, no, no. <laughs> and the judge says, and he says, and he said, uh, well, I didn't expect the Spanish Inquisition. Nobody ever expects no, the at, Spanish at, Inquisition. Everybody looks at the door. And out of like a random apartment on the middle of some random street, they're like, Let's go, let's go. And they like jump on like a train, like uh, a trolley car. And like they, they're like sit down and they're like, oh no, the credits have started. <laughs> Hurry up. <laughs> oh no, the director, only three more left. And you, and you run in there. They get into the court building like just as the last one has passed. They run in the door. The awful cord plays and he says, nobody expects that. So shows the end over like as, as he says, and nobody expects them. And he says, nobody expects that. Oh, bugger. And, and it just ends there. I thought that was hilarious. Did you hear about... Uh, By the way, of, we're over time. Think of... Okay, I'll tell the story next episode then. Okay. Um, so, thank you guys very much for watching. We will see you next episode. Goodbye. Bye.